The Duchess of Malfi by John Webster The recently widowed Duchess falls in love with her steward Antonio. Her brothers, Ferdinand and the Cardinal, tell her not to remarry, which she agrees to. They leave for Rome, but they don't trust their sister and hire a servant, Basola, to spy on her. Once they've gone, the Duchess meets Antonio and they both confess their love for each other. She proposes and they secretly get married. Nine months later, Basola suspects the Duchess is pregnant. He hatches a plan to present her with apricots, believed to induce labour. She eats them and immediately falls ill. The Duchess gives birth to a son and Antonio writes his newborn a horoscope, but then loses it. Basola finds the horoscope, proof that the Duchess had a child. He tells her brothers, who become enraged, especially as they don't know of her marriage to Antonio. Two years later, the Duchess and Antonio have two more children. Ferdinand returns from Rome and hides in his sister's bedroom. When Antonio leaves, he reveals himself, gives the Duchess a dagger and tells her to kill herself. She tells him she's married, making him even more angry. He leaves, saying he will never see her again. The Duchess persuades Antonio to flee to Ancona. Basola tricks the Duchess into telling him who the father of her children is and where he is. Basola takes this information straight to her brothers. The Duchess and her children meet Antonio in Ancona. The Cardinal finds them, takes their wedding rings and banishes them. The Duchess forces Antonio to flee to Milan with their eldest son. Basola imprisons the Duchess and her two younger children. In prison, Ferdinand tricks the Duchess into believing that Antonio and her eldest son are both dead. Basola pleads for her life, but the Duchess and her two children are strangled. Ferdinand is overwhelmed with remorse and blames Basola for the murders. Ferdinand joins the Cardinal in his palace in Milan, but has now lost his mind and believes he is a wolf. The Cardinal offers Basola a reward for murdering Antonio. Basola accepts, but plots to kill the two brothers instead. He conceals himself in the Cardinal's room, but accidentally attacks and kills Antonio instead. Basola confronts the Cardinal, and in the ensuing fight, Ferdinand is woken from his madness and joins in. Basola stabs the Cardinal, while Ferdinand and Basola strike each other. All three die. Antonio's friend, Delio, arrives too late to save anyone, but promises to raise Antonio's eldest son in the image of his parents.